Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family and also go check out my Instagram. Today we have the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection. So it was her 22nd birthday and every single year I love that she comes out with a birthday collection. I got her birthday collection last year and did a whole video on it. So I really wanted to do it again this year. really like a theme that you would normally like really see me like into. I think the idea of it is cool, don't get me wrong, and I think that it's really cool that she switches things up every single year because for every single birthday that's like pretty insane to like have to keep coming up with different themes and ideas for it. I do think it's really cool, but the whole theme for this one is money. And the palette is called You Are So Money Baby. And this is what the actual palette looks like. When you open this palette, I love that it does have a mirror, but like you can kind of see like the money all over the top right there going onto the mirror, which I think is really cool. And then the actual shades are what got me. I feel like a lot of people were just saying, uh, like they weren't that excited about this palette, but I just thought it was so pretty. The greens in this, so pretty. I do apologize. My hair is like so fluffy tonight and I'm not really sure like what's going on. <laughs> I kind of feel like a puppy dog again. I know that I say that in some of my videos, but it is very poofy tonight. So yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this. I have swatched it for my Instagram and for the swatches that you guys will see. Yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this and actually play with it on my eyes because I haven't yet. But while I was at it, I also picked up the um, lip trio as well that comes in this money roll, which I think is super cute and I just love this. It comes with the three lipsticks in there and I will be showing you guys some swatches of those and all of that when we get to the lipstick portion, when I'm ready to put my lipstick on. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into this palette. All the info on this will be down below in the description box, as well as links if you guys are interested in that. My brows are done, my lids are primed, so let's jump into this eyeshadow. So for this look, I'm gonna be going into Blue Faces, which is kind of like this cream color right here. It's kind of like a brown cream, and I'm gonna start my look off with it as a transition. And because I'm all over the place in this, I forgot to mention that I'm actually doing a four looks, one palette, so you guys will see that from the title, that it is a four looks, one palette. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing four looks for you guys. So I am going to be jumping off camera to do the rest of my face makeup. But I will be jumping back on to show you guys which lipstick I choose with each look because I will probably just be sticking to these three lipsticks for the four looks. Now I'm going to take Time is Money with the other side of this brush, which is just like a light pink off-white shade that has a little bit of a shimmer to it. This is going to be my brow bone and inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go back into Blue Faces and just blend a little bit more up to that brow bone highlight. Okay, from there I'm gonna take On A Budget, which is a beautiful pink shade. I feel like Kylie always kills it with pinks. I know that she comes out with a lot of pinks, but they are some of the most beautiful pink shades that I have ever used when it comes to eyeshadow. I'm gonna work this shade on my outer lid and my inner lid. I think I'm gonna just go for a halo today. Now going with my finger, I'm gonna go into 100, and I'm going to put that right there in that center. Yeah, I'm loving these greens, just so pretty. I'm gonna go back into on a budget and just kind of blend around it. You guys know how I normally do with my halo eyes. I love this pink and that green together though. It is so pretty. 
And now back into the green to just brighten it up a little bit right there in the center. I just recently did a whole video on her summer collection, if you guys want to go check it out. Um, I only did one look with that one, and that's kind of why I'm doing four looks with this palette. I wanted to spend some more time with this one, but I will be doing another look really soon with the summer palette again for my Instagram, probably in an Instagram video, but yeah, I really like that palette too. So far, this one is applying just like all of her shadows do for me. I really like her shadows. I think they blend just so nicely and they're usually so pigmented as well. I have not tried every single one of her palettes, but for the palettes that I have tried of hers, they've all been very consistent when it comes to the formula and I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back into Time Is Money, the highlight shade, and pop a little bit more in my inner corner. Right there. And then I'm gonna take the same like smudger side and I'm gonna go straight into on a budget, the pink that we used around the halo. And I'm going to smudge this shade along my whole lower lash, just really bringing attention to that pink shade. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lower lashes. I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, but you guys know all makeup is down below in the description box if you are interested. And for the lips, we have the little money bundle right here. So it does come with these three shades right here. The packaging has really cute dollar signs on them. I will throw up some close-ups of these as well as the swatches. The fairest shade we have is Money Mindset. And then the medium one is Hustle Honey. And then the brightest one is Mama Boss. They are all mattes. And today I'm gonna go into that middle one, which is Hustle Honey. I can say if you have not tried out her lipsticks, you are missing out. I love her bullet lipsticks. They are so good. Like I know a lot of people rave about like her liquid lipsticks and velvet lipsticks and I like them too, but I can honestly say like her bullet lipsticks are so good. So good. You're missing out if you have not tried them. I think they are so pretty too. Um, the one that I got with the summer collection called Beach Bum maybe? I don't know. It's like more of like the nude one. I would show you guys but it's in my purse because I've been using it so much lately. But this is the completed look number one. I really like it. I think these colors are just so pretty and uh, I just I live for a good pink and green moment. I just think they're so beautiful together and complement each other so much. But Stay tuned if you guys are wanting to see three more looks with this palette. Like I said earlier in this video, I do have all of the links and like the prices and all that down below in the description box. But if you were interested, the palette retails for $48 and then the lipstick uh, trio bundle retails for $45. I think that is really good. I feel like $45 for three lipsticks is such a good price point. They also came out with a bunch of other stuff and you can actually get the lipsticks singles for $17 each. They came out with a lot more stuff with this collection. I was a little overwhelmed by everything and I was just like, I'm gonna take this baby step. So for my four looks, one palette, I'm just gonna stick to those lipsticks and the palette. On to day two of the You Are So Money Baby palette. I am really wanting to play with this army green color in this. It is so beautiful and this is one of the shades where I feel like a lot of people would look at it and be like really that's the shade that's like really calling out to you especially like with this green and just the brighter colors going on but honestly I love army green color so I'm like really excited about that shade. I'm first going to go into Work For It, which is like a light pink. It's kind of like the pink that I used yesterday on a budget, but it's a little bit lighter than that one. And I'm going to use this shade kind of like a transition. That light pink is pretty pigmented though. I'm going to use Time Is Money, the same highlight shade that I used yesterday, to highlight my brow bone and inner corner again. Oh, 
and then back into the transition shade just to clean things up. Now I'm gonna go into Stacks, which is the army green, and I'm gonna work this in my outer corner and into my crease. Now I'm gonna take the beautiful 22 shade, which is definitely more of a shimmer metallic. I'm a little bit worried to fall out with this one because it is rather like crumbly, but her formula is usually that way with some of the shades and they end up being stunning. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the inner part of my lid to about the middle. And then, of course, go back into that army green shade and just kind of blend around that. I'm going to add a little bit more of Time is Money right in the inner corner highlight so it's popping today. Alright guys, now I'm going to be taking... I think I'm gonna take the army green today and run that along my lower lash line. I am gonna go back into Time is Money and put a little bit more of that on my inner corner. Cause like I said, I want it to be popping today. And yeah, I'm gonna take stacks that army green and start running it along my lower lash line. Did get a little bit of fallout with that, so I'm gonna brush that away. But as you guys can see, I just took it to about right there and then stopped. So I didn't run it along my entire lower lash line. So for today's look, I decided to go into Money Mindset and I don't really know how I feel about this shade. I feel like it's a little much. I was really hoping that the shade would be a lot more wearable as like a pinky nude than what it is, but I do think it's really pretty with this eye look. I feel like it matches the shimmer shade that I have on my lid. So yeah, I'm really liking look too. All right, and we are back to day three, I believe, of this. And we're gonna be jumping into the You're So Money Baby palette again. Don't mind my hair. Um, I just styled it a minute ago, so it's like very fluffy and crazy. Okay, so for this look, I kind of want to go a little bit crazy today. I'm going to go into a blender brush, and I'm going to take Bands, which is a brown shade right there, and go ahead and use this as a transition. My brows are already done. I have Painterly Paint Pot on my lids already. And like I have before, I'm going to go into Time is Money and go ahead and highlight my brow bone. God, that truck is loud. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone and very inner corner with this. I love this brown shade, even like for day-to-day -day wear, it's so beautiful. Okay, so from there, I'm going to take... Breaking Records. This is a little bit deeper, but I'm going to go ahead and take this maroon brown and work this on the outer corner as well. Okay, that shade is stunning too. That is so pretty. Okay, now from there, I'm going to go into Build Your Empire, which is kind of like a metallic shade. It's kind of like a pinky purple hue shade. I'm going to go ahead and work this on kind of like the middle of the lid out to the outer corner. And back into my blender brush with a little bit more breaking records just to put around that. And now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking Time for Cake. 
this vibrant neon like lime green and I'm gonna try it with a brush but I'm gonna take this in my very inner corner and kind of do like a green inner corner moment yeah I'm gonna have to go into this with my finger and I'm gonna go back into this blender brush with no extra product and just kind of run that by that green just to kind of blend it out a little bit. I don't want this to be, I don't want like a huge harsh line. I kind of want it to blend a little bit. I'm actually going to go back into Build Your Empire, that pinky purple metallic and just kind of pat a little bit over that green. Okay, so I took Bands, the brown, and I ran it along my whole uh, lower lash line. What I did was I took a smudger brush and I started on the outer corner and just worked it all the way across. I didn't dip into it twice, I just dipped into it once, so I made it darker right here and then just dragged it all the way over there. So that's why it's a little bit lighter on the inner part. And then I did go into Breaking Records, the darker shade, just on the outer corner part to connect those. So as you guys can see, I did throw on Mama Boss. Yeah. So I have tried all three lipsticks now. I really like how this lipstick is though. I feel like the shade is really intimidating, but with the matte consistency, I think it looks really pretty. Okay, so for the final look, I'm gonna be jumping into Long Money, which is this like pink color right here. It's a lot deeper pink than the other pinks that I've played with the last couple of days, but it's kind of almost like a very pink. I'm gonna start with this shade and start working this shade into my crease. And since I have been loving Time is Money, this highlight shade up here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in my brow bone and inner corner on my brow bone and in my inner corner like I have the last couple of looks. This shade is just so beautiful. And now I'm gonna take Blue Faces, which is kind of like a light brown, like khaki shade almost. And I'm going to take this on the blender side and blend this right through the crease, kind of like another transition. Just adding it over that pink so that the pink is mainly a, like lower by my lid. And then with my finger, I'm gonna go into 22 Candles, which is kind of like a pink, um, it honestly is a lot like Long Money, the pink that I put on, but this is like a metallic shimmer form. Almost like a cranberry pink. It's very crumbly, so beware of that with this shade. But I'm just going to place this right on the outer part, and honestly, just my, almost my entire lid. I'm now going back into Long Money, the matte pink I was using, kind of cranberry pink. I'm gonna just blend that right in the crease, not taking it too high, but just around that shimmer shade. So it's all blended together. And then with the other side of this brush, it's just an Anastasia brush. You guys know when I'm low on brushes, these are what I use. So now I'm gonna go back into Time Is Money, the highlight shade, and work that up and in pigment in this inner corner, even bringing it up a little bit over here. Add a little bit more of Time Is Money in my inner corner, and now I'm going to run a little bit of Long Money, the matte cranberry pink shade just along my lower lash line. I think I'm just gonna take it halfway though. And I threw on the first lipstick that I wore in this video, which is Hustle Honey, the like medium one. I personally like this lipstick the best out of them. I think they're all three really pretty. The 
paler one is just it can pull a little too pale on me I'm gonna have to work with it maybe like put it over another shade but then the brighter shade is very vibrant very bold I do really like it but I have to be in a bold mood for that where this shade I feel like is very wearable and very me so I do want to wrap up my thoughts on this palette since you guys have seen four different looks of me trying this out. I really do like how each one of them turned out. I feel like they honestly, I don't want to say got better and better because the last three I think were my favorites. The first one I liked, but I can honestly say after I did that one, I was thinking to myself like the second look I did, I absolutely loved so much and then from there the third look I really loved and then this look I think is really pretty too I feel like it just melts together it looks so beautiful I can't really describe the metallic and like pressed glitter shadows that she has even the pressed like I don't even know what she's calling these they all just say pressed powder but like there's like shimmers and metallics in this the shimmers I like I think they're really pretty like the brow bone and inner corner that you guys see going on is kind of like her shimmer uh, formula and I think it's really pretty and it's kind of just like a light metallic so I think that was the issue that I had with um, the shade 100 right over here in the first look. I feel like it just wasn't that pigmented and I think I got spoiled with this formula that she has. So what I have on my lids right now is more of like her foiled metallic is what I want to call it because that's the type of formula it is. It is so beautiful and she's been including it in the last few palettes that she's came out with and it is stunning. I love that formula so much. It is crumbly like no other and you will get fallout from it but honestly putting it down the lid it is so freaking gorgeous i love that formula and her mattes this time around it finally struck me how much her mattes remind me of anastasia beverly hills because when you're dipping into them you get some kickback in the palette for sure but once you apply them you know how when you apply an anastasia shadow it's just like bold i mean you have to go in light-handed with it or you're gonna have a lot you don't have that issue with this. That's where they're different. But when I'm blending out one of Kylie's shadows, it reminds me of how I blend out an Anastasia shadow. Usually it's effortless. Now with an Anastasia palette, I literally can take my brush and dip in and then usually start blending. And that's usually like enough for me on my whole crease. Like I can just blend that shade out because there's so much pigment, but it blends so beautifully. It's so hard to describe unless you have an Anastasia palette, then you know what I mean. It's the same with this formula I feel, but this formula, you do have to build up the color, which I kind of like. And I'm kind of thinking I like that a little bit more than um, sometimes just going too heavy with the Anastasia palette. Where with this, you can just go in and start building it up and it blends like a dream, but you can keep building that pigment up. It's so beautiful. But yeah, the mattes really do remind me of Anastasia's, just not as bam pigmented when you first dip in. You can actually build it up or wear it lighter deeper. I really like the options there. Um, the price wise, I know a lot of people like throw a fit because they like to compare this to ColourPop a lot because apparently they're in the same factory or whatever, lab, whatever it might be. But um, I definitely see a difference between ColourPop and Kylie. I love both of them and I think they're both incredible brands and they have incredible products. So I can't really even pick or choose which one would be my absolute favorite, but I definitely see a difference between the two. And I don't really want to sit here and justify like if it's worth the price or not. You guys know how I am on that. I really just want to give you guys my personal opinion on how the product worked and all of that because that's what I do with everything. I do like to mention um, brands that are more affordable, like ColourPop a lot, but with brands like this, I mean, I'll drop $50 on a Jeffree Star palette almost $60 in one. So it honestly just has to catch my eye and then I'll try it out. I do think this one is worth it. I really do love this palette and the greens just called out to me and now that I have it, I love all of the pinks too. And like I said, Kylie just kills it with the pink shadow. So this palette definitely is a hit for me. This is going to be one that I'm going to use a lot. It is just so beautiful and I'm just so excited because I know that she normally comes out with a Halloween 
collection and I'm really hoping she does it this year and I cannot wait to see it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here because these are always so long and so tiring to edit. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed these four looks. Like always, leave me down below which one was your favorite and give me some thumbs up. If you're still enjoying these four looks, one palette videos, it means so much to me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay.